Well, um... What the hell did you say to Elliot? What? You told him about the cancer, didn't you? Okay. I can't believe it. We were talking, and he asked how you were doing. I'm sorry, but I don't have the best poker face where that's concerned these days. He knew something was wrong and he pressed me. He pressed you? Huh? He pressed you? Come on. But when it came right down to it, I didn't know what else to do but tell him the truth. The truth? What about you? You said he's fine. Huh? You think maybe you could have said that? He's fine. And it would have been done. I don't like the way you're talking to And me. I don't like the way you talk about my private affairs to people who are no longer in our lives. Well, what exactly did he say to you? <laughs> he offered me a job. What? Yeah, some thick lip, you know? He, he was like a, some face-saving bullshit that allowed me to generously accept his charity. And when I turned that down, he flat out. You thinking that he was gonna pay for my treatment. You Which is exactly what you expected him to do, didn't you? What? Didn't you? No. Come on. I did Just not come up on. to it. Okay, well what did you say? What do you think I said? Why? I need to understand your thought process here because right now I really don't. The decision that you have made is not only not in your best interest, but it's not in the best interest of our entire family. Luke Skyler. No, I'm not finished. I know money has been an issue for us. I will give you that. But now that Elliot is more than willing to pitch in, well, I know, I understand that you have a hard time accepting help from others. But honey, it's okay to lean on people every now and then, and you need this treatment. And nothing can stand in your way from getting it except you. Well, let me just put it this way. What I want, what I need, is a choice. What does that mean? Sometimes I just feel that I have never had any of my own choices. I mean, my entire life just seems like I never had a real say about anything. But this one, cancer, all I have left is how I choose to approach this. Well, make the right choice. This decision just doesn't affect you. What about your son? Don't you want to see your daughter grow up? I mean, I can't... Of course I do, Skyler. You read the statistics. What this doctor just talking about surviving one year, two years? But what good is it to survive if you cannot even enjoy a meal, go to work, or make love? For what time I have left, I want to live in my own house. I want to sleep in my own bed. And I don't want to chuck down 20 pills every single day, lose my hair, or being so sick that I cannot even get up, or so nauseated that I cannot move my head. And then you cleaning after me? <laughs> me? With some dead man? Some artificially alive, just marking time? I can do that. I can do that. And that's my thought process. I'm sorry. Just choose not to do it, okay? <laughs>